Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So this video is going to be an eBay promoted listings tutorial. You can see right now we are on my dashboard. So uh, basically what does eBay promoted listings allows you, uh, allow you to do? Well, essentially it allows you to promote your listings. I believe it's on the eBay search um, and essentially you just set what's known as an ad rate or an ad fee um, that you're kind of willing to pay as a percentage of that sale price if it were to sell through the promoted listing system so for example if you set um, an ad rate of 5% that means that if your item sells through promoted listings uh, you will be paying 5% extra on top of your normal fees for that item uh, now you can set this ad rate at whatever you want it doesn't matter and uh, obviously we will come on to that in a second um, but yeah how do you first get to this uh, screen here if you don't even know how to get to this screen well basically you can type in eBay promote your listings eBay uh, and then just click this one up here or also this one whichever one will do and then basically it will take you to this next screen here uh, and then you just want to click this button here clear as day go to promote your listings and then it will pull up your dashboard you may come to a sign in screen first off but if you come to a sign in screen simply you know enter your email and password and that and then you will come here uh, now yours will probably be blank if you've never done it before um, and we want to come down here to this uh, I don't know whether you can see this whether I'm obstructing the view uh, with the green screen I'm not sure um, but basically down here at the bottom right hand corner again very very much clear as day is this blue button that says create a new campaign so you want to click on this uh, create a new campaign button and then we uh, come to two different uh, things now I have only really ever used uh, this option on the left hand side here which is select in uh, listings individually um, however I did quickly click on this one ages ago like I'm talking months and months ago and I came to uh, basically a page that said that I need to like upload a PDF file with some list uh, some data about my listings on and it didn't seem to be very user friendly now they may have updated it they may have made it a lot more streamlined and this may be a better option if you've got a large amount of listings um, but if you're you know if you've only got 500 listings a thousand listings this option to the uh, left hand side is very user friendly and it's very very quick and uh, yeah I would suggest using this one um, but as I say if you've got a large amount of listings maybe 5,000 6,000 10,000 and whatever um, then yeah definitely look into this listing uh, th this option here but this is the option we're going to be looking at in this tutorial so uh, yeah select listings individually just literally click that and then we come to a page with all your listings on it uh, we can see to the left hand side we've got all my shop categories and all the rest of it um, now basically I've already promoted um, well first off what I always do is go go down here to items per page and uh, go and click on this 500 items per page here um, because I want to select 500 items for this campaign now um, you can also go down here and you can click on this uh, to the left hand side here manage promoted and then click hide promoted listings so then you're not like clicking ones that have already been promoted or anything um, so yeah basically what I do is I just click this select all at the top uh, top of the left hand corner here um, and you can see there's 500 been selected and then there's a blue button down here again I apologize if I'm I'm obstructing it in any, any way but again it's clear as day and it just says set ad rates a little blue button and I just go through and click that and then um, it'll come to this page now but now this is the page where you're gonna set the ad rate and um, so literally you can just click this little uh, toggle button up here uh, apply a single ad rate to all listings and uh, it's uh, playing up a little, a little bit at the moment I don't know why but it's freezing oh there we go right so um, I normally set it at 7% now I know there's a few people out there who have done this little trick where you put it to 1% and they still manage to get sales and stuff and it still works in their favor um, now I've never really tried that I've never done that maybe you could try it uh, maybe do a campaign and try it but I've always done it at, you know between sort of 5 and 7% at the moment I'm just gonna do this one at 7% and now you can look down this list of all your listings that are in this campaign and uh, you can see what the trending ad rate is so if your percentage is below, below the trending ad rate I would assume now this is just based on an assumption 
um, that you might find it harder to get the sale because other people are setting their ad rate above yours um, and then obviously they're the ones who are more likely to get the sale. Um, so what I generally do is just set my ad rate, at, as I say, between about 5 and 7% and uh, look down here and see if uh, I'm coming above the ad rates. Now, if I'm coming above the ad rates for a lot of the items and a lot of these are, are showing green then sometimes I will just drop the percentage a little bit because it might give me a little bit more wiggle room anyway if the trending ad rates are low um, instead of like shooting myself in the foot and putting my ad rate really really high and, and taking a, a little bit more of a fee. So for example on this one a lot of the items are in green I would say it's probably about 60% are in the green. I'm still going to keep it at 7% though because as you see on certain items it is above 7% but you could always go down to maybe 6% and a lot of these uh, items will still be above uh, your your ad rate will still be above the trending ad rate so you could maybe do that. So I just literally scroll down just have a look and see you know how many are in the green opposed to how many in the red and uh, if there's a lot of them in the red I might put it up a little bit uh, just so I'm a little bit higher than that trending ad rate. Um, so yeah basically I scroll right down to the bottom um, and then you know once I've had a just a quick glance through at, at which ones are in the green which ones are in the red etc and then again I apologize if I'm obstructing this view down here but there's a little review button down here uh, and it says 500 selected and then next to it there's a little review button here so I'm just going to click on this little review here and then we come to the uh, name your campaign and launch it now please do not worry this campaign name uh, does not show up to buyers or anything like that um, so it doesn't really matter what you set it at maybe if it's summer you could set it up at summer campaign or if it's winter set it winter campaign or whatever or literally just keep it as they've set it there by the default but if you want to give it a name then you're you're free to do so you just need to come down here and click I agree to the pro promote your listings terms of service um, and then maybe if you'd like to obviously read through them just click that there and it'll take you to the terms of service and then you literally just click launch and then that is 500 items added to a campaign and and then you should be able to, to start seeing some activity on your dashboard here um, and you'll be able to see all the impressions, all the clicks, all the solds and you'll be able to see data down here for it as well. So you can see the start date, you can see where it's active, you can see the end date if there is one, you see how many listings are in the campaign, how many sold, the ad fees for those sales and then obviously the total amount in sales as well per campaign so it's pretty good you can also select uh, different listings one second select a listing there you can click end delete it resume it or pause it first and then resume it or whatever so you can do all that as well so it's quite good. Now, if you've got more than 500 listings, all you simply have to do is then just repeat the process and do it again for the next 500 or the next 200 or however many other listings you've got. Um, so I need to go ahead and do this again, uh, repeat the process one final time because I've got 1,200 items. And as you can see here, I've only got 1,000 being promoted. Um, so yeah, you just literally need to repeat the process. So I will leave it there, guys, for this video. I hope you did get some valuable information information out of it um, if obviously you didn't know or weren't aware of how to do this or how to set it up yourself um, if you uh, would like to then please do consider subscribing to the channel um, if you did enjoy uh, this video then please do uh, leave a like on it down below if you've got any comments questions or queries about how I went about doing this video um, and if there's any maybe more efficient ways of doing it then please do let me know down in the comments because not only will it help me it'll also help um, a few other people who are maybe watching this video in a year's time or something like that they may be able to uh, gauge a better way of doing it opposed to the way I've shown here as I say maybe that uh, bulk option might be a faster way for certain people so that uh, you know obviously looking into that might be something you, you would like to do so I will leave it there guys and thank you very much for watching <music>